Hi guys, welcome. It's time to make a new Arcanlinx D ISO. How to install it because something changed. So the ISO that I've built today is different than the one that's gone in the past, right? So 5 May 2023 05 is May. First ver fourth version is looking like this. So we boot up from the CD-ROM and that's the difference here. The only difference here is that the without XF86 video drivers, the text is gone, right? But the rest is exactly the same. So the idea is to go for open source or to go for NVIDIA DKMS, or if both of them fail, you go down to the no mode set. This is a virtual box, so I'm gonna go for open source. The change we've made, <laughs> is on the department of Wayland. You know that in February 2023, we set our baby steps in the Wayland world with Hyperland and with Sway, and we stick there until we get it, until we understand more all these applications and all these configurations. The thing is, we've always been saying that you need to have, well, you, you can't have NVIDIA together with Hyperlint or Sway. Now, you can, right? <laughs> now you can, now. So let's first make everything big. So right control F, right control F. So everything is bigger. So the 1900 and 1080 is working. And the thing is, if you've, we've now selected line one, right? Which means that he thinks there is no NVIDIA enabled and it gives you X11 and it gives us Wayland. And this is new, that's one thing. And we always, uh, we keep saying, don't install Wayland on VirtualBox and don't mix X11, this thing, don't mix any of these guys with this. But this is new. So let's focus on this screen. We used to have this one, that one, and that one. At some point in time, growth, right? You create the package and it's called Arcanlex Hyperlink Git, Arcanlex Sway Git. And you in behind it, in the package build, you say, those are the dependencies. And everything was installed because of one package. Then we've built our own application and, and the configuration and the application is now separate, which means that you can exchange the Hyperlint versions and the like six Hyperlint versions out there, right? If you go to the internet and you say, how many things can I install? Let's first get the keyboards in, pseudo pacman minus SY, get the databases in, that's why the, the Y is there. And then let's do a no, and here you go. So we have one, two, three, for five applications that you can use instead of ours, which is this one. So the applications, the, the and so all these guys, right, are separate from any of the others above. There's no link anymore, which means we need to make this more complex, which means this is what we, I think we need as a basis for uh, to, be able, to be able to work on Hyperlint right again the same thing don't install both of them you choose sway or you choose hyperlint and you don't mix with x11 no big cross either x11 or wayland and here's the the extra bit this is also of course also extra but the extra bit is that i got another what if this morning i said uh, what if right the article links b Hyperland and Arcanlix Sway, they activate immediately some extra things in the make init CPIO to support Hyperland on NVIDIA, DKMS or Sway. What if we give that possibility to Arcanlix D as well? So that means, and I can show you that with Control R, if I reboot, but this time I tell him I have an NVIDIA system. So I have an NVIDIA card in my 
hardware and it is NVIDIA DKMS that it needs, then we do get the option. This is new. We do get the option, right? I first of February said, no, better not. Otherwise we get users who are get stuck. Then some experimenting. We learned Arc Linux B, how to do that there. Why not implement the same technique here? So quit, let it boot up. We get the advanced option. And then we see here, well, let's do it like it's the real thing, right? So you don't need this. There is a Linux kernel. You don't need this unless you think that uh, you need this one for AMD, for example, right? But normally you don't need that. Maybe you need sound, yeah. So choose one of those, not two of them, one of those. Next, you need a login manager. Why not SDM? Next, so or X11 or Wild, but not mixing. So this is a click that's now available. This is here on Article D, and you have selected the Nvidia. This was not there previously. So now you can, with the same idea, the same thinking, the same way of, of way, uh, making it work, like the Arcanlux B Hyperland, it will work if you need, if you need NVIDIA TKMS. So this I can't install, doesn't, uh, doesn't work here, but I can show you at least what the changes were and all the rest stays the same. You just go for next, 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 and so on. So that has changed to the Arcanlux D, the possibility to install Wayland on NVIDIA. And of course, well, it looks a bit different. It used to be just three of them, like this one, that one, and that one. But now they're separate. Everything is, is detached. You can switch apps, you can switch Hyperland Comfy if you want, right? It is all detached from each other. All right, cheers.